This would fail. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. The poop deck? I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo okay, manifests. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. On the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? He would. J. Da, 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 da. Sucks that I can't talk. Okay, so. Whole place must be the poop deck. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor the hard working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Already read that? I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um... You're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other? You're talking Hello. about mythology. Oh, jeez. Uh, indeed, <laughs> you're right. Peaked. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Who's cat? Plus, uh, I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I already saw it. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. So Cat is the woman in the bar. Which is why she's rude. Da, 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 da. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? 
You mean that the dates have some meaning? I don't know. It's not my signature next to that of Charles Hawkins. I'm at sea for more than half the year. Anyone could have done it during my absence. What seems really important to me is that the dates on these manifests indicate that Charles probably had other contracts. But not with you, though. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is. Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I have no I idea what's going on. here wanted me to search this warehouse. I mean, I do, but I mean, like, I don't know how this system is going to work. Can you tell me where the warehouse is again? <laughs> Look, I've already shown it to you. It's the one with the cop on guard duty out front. You can't miss it. <laughs> Understood. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Indeed. Oh. Is 30 or 40. Nice. Okay, now that we have that settled. Da -da 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 James Fitzroy, 45. He sounds old for someone who's 45. Occupation captain. James Fitzroy is the captain of the Sh Charybdis. So he has the Charybdis. And the Scylla was his dad's. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of funny. The only boat that still sails between the dark water and Boston. His base is the Harbor Master's office from where he misses nothing that happens on the island. The inhabitants of dark water respect him. The bootleggers despise him. He offered to help me in my investigation. Okay. So he's against the bootleggers. I'm gonna see if I can't talk to this cop again, at least. Oh yeah, he's gonna get us into. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. You're not sailors. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Good God, your gums. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. You again? I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Damn. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we... What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Hmm. 
I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now, we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. No, she's it's very easy to figure yeah. it out. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> she sounds frightening. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? On purpose. Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. What are you guarding, exactly? <laughs> Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. Tough. I bid you gentlemen farewell. You can call him gentlemen. So how the hell do I get in this warehouse? Because I have to get in the warehouse somehow. See if I can come up with something for him. You again. I told you to beat it. No nope. need to get worked up. Absolutely not. Of course. I can't jump. Not real jump. Jump! How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. <laughs> now, with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I bid you gentlemen. See if I can't actually talk to her. I don't want to cause too much trouble if possible. I mean, I don't mind making enemies because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make some here, regardless of what I do. What? Another break? I told you to beat it. So I can't. Oh, let's go lie. Oh, wrong way. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can talk to you, not you. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. 
They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't that a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores These guys now are again, but since the whaling drunk. station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Obviously. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want to cause this guy's trouble. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry? We saw you talking to the two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh, yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? I bid you gentlemen farewell. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another one.